Yo, what is up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back from the Tales of Eren gameplay video and uh, it's Guild War time, so let me show you my group. I decided to go with this setup. Uh, I'm running Abyss with the Guild buff. Uh, replace Rennie Scan with Petralia for more damage. So these are the stats, just to show you quickly. Gear. can pause if it's too quick all right so let's go joining late on this one so with without the guild buff abyss uh, I was running it with Renescan and uh, I was using using the healing divinity and I was taking quite a bit of damage uh, like it's random it's random like the ability of the boss sometimes he just goes crazy he, like he targets the same hero and then that hero gets low or just gets nuked down and Shiro doesn't have time to uh, heal, heal the hero up so when he does this uh, you see his crown uh, it's pulsating upward and then he does the meteor and it's doing damage multiple times per seconds now I, I joined late here so my damage not gonna be so good but uh, one thing you need to pay attention to is the boss yeah there's a damage but when you can survive the damage you see now he has the uh, he has this thing uh, absorb he's absorbing hits 30 hits he's immune for so that thing's broken now all right so turning auto back on and using everything if you let the game auto your, your heroes are just gonna like waste their ultimates just just gonna be a waste of damage all around so you need to pay attention whenever the boss does this and you just turn off auto and you just pay attention to your health and uh, and then you just uh, heal which uh, Shiro or uh, Petralia uh, Frost Nova whoever you are using maybe uh, you need to uh, to use uh, Rene scan for the uh, the invulnerability for 10 seconds but yeah if you just auto this thing the whole time, you're watching TV, whatever, you're studying, doing whatever, uh, the only thing you can do is just use your, your divinity. That's pretty much all your... Uh, that's as much as you're going to do, basically, you're willing to do. Uh, you're just joining up or creating. You might be soloing, duoing, whatever the, 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 the setup. You just like, if you use the healing divinity and your your team doesn't have enough health, uh, you will have to just, uh, I mean, pay attention. So that's that's not the kind of uh, setup you want. You just want either a setup that you can auto easy peasy and just let it go and farm it uh, like nonstop. Oh, he! I have to break the immune shield here. You, you see the the shield animation in front of him. Now the meteor. I I could have used the heal for Shiro, but I was fine. I was fine. The guild buff is on. You saw my stats. It it is plenty fine. It is plenty fine. Like you can you can do it with lower stats. Now you have to remember, I'm not using Renescan. Renescan provides. Uh, 35% defense to the group for water characters so that's that's not in there but I've got Petralia Petralia got 30% defense for the group passive and attack interval reduction 30% and she has uh, a 30% attack up and defense up uh, buff which is pretty much uh, up the whole time because she can lower her own cooldown and between all like the ultimates of every character it's pretty much up as soon as it drops abyss seems to drop more stuff I can show you my stats while I'm waiting here <coughs> so yeah you can do a uh, hero renescan so you need sarta you need sarta in the group just because because she removes the debuff on the boss 15% attack three times for 45% attack the boss builds up that thing and it's it is brutal it is a lot of damage like you have to counter 
if you're not running Sarta because if you're not running Sarta is because you don't have Sarta if you do have Sarta you need to build her because it just makes this boss way easier now the immune shield is on so I'm just gonna break that first and I'll turn on auto <clears throat> but the reason I went with Petrolia is just more offense uh, better survival because like that absorb shield actually helped that barrier uh, and I mean everything is amazing on Petrolia you just need more health on her <clears throat> uh, she already has pretty uh, decent defense uh, I should go and check how much defense she has uh, on the stat screen uh, Shiro has uh, with Renescan is a 2.2 uh, K defense I think I only have one copy of Shiro so yeah 2.2 K uh, defenses now oh, the boss is the barrier nah sometimes you like Hira is like using her ultimate and all that stuff if not if you're not paying attention to the game you're like doing whatever you're just like using your divinity as soon as it's up you, you can like at least look if the boss has the absorb shield because you you don't want to uh, <coughs> pop that thing when he does I mean you will increase your attack interval and break the shield uh, faster but you are losing that initial burst and damage and uh, I mean you can break that immunity shield quick enough without uh, using the attack interval boost from the uh, first divinity if you're struggling with survival, survival definitely use the uh, healing divinity you could be I mean uh, here already provides the attack down 15% on the boss right so you, you don't need to run the fourth divinity uh, if you want to extend the weak duration on the boss you could run number four but uh, you could uh, run three to uh, to increase the max action uh, point on the boss uh, if you want to do a bit more damage when you pop the divinity but I would recommend uh, I mean most people might be running the healing divinity so if you can do it with the the first divinity uh, that 15% defense down is going to be really useful if uh, if there's no Mimiru in the group Mimiru provides 30% defense down if you don't have one you uh, it's going to be really helpful to have at least 15% defense down now I could be running instead of uh, Petralia I could be running uh, Mimiru but the reason I'm not doing that is because I'm I don't have enough crit I'm using crit dagger on Hira and on uh, Sarta. They're both set up with double uh, uh, tier four origin uh, uh, bows, the self attack buffing ones. So two bows on each and uh, one dagger on each, and they're they're full DPS. Sarta has enough health uh, from her passive, her tankiness from the amount of defenses that she has. She's at like 5.8 thousand defenses with Renescan. Uh, she's plus two for me so let's say she's like 5.5k which is almost like Renescan. Renescan is like a 6,000 uh, low 6,000 I believe and uh, I mean Petrolia just brings up the defense even more higher than Renescan. <coughs> oh absorb shield turn it off turn, turn off the arrow These runs are going quick. There's some people that are joining up in here. Uh, they're like, <laughs> they're not supposed to be running the, uh, joining up the, these runs. It's uh, like, yeah, the <laughs> everyone's joining up in here. <clears throat> We're supposed to be doing these runs, but I don't know what's going on. Uh, what was it? The, oh yes, I wanted to check the defense real quick. Petrolia. Well, okay, her defense are low, like two, barely two thousand. Shiro two point two, uh, a bit less because he's missing five percent defense. Uh, same with her. Yeah, you can pause in there. You can go back and pause if you'd like to see the stats. See the the exact stats on my uh, my characters, <clears throat> but I mean I mean it's it's way easier than I thought it would be. <clears throat> I, I farm like crazy. I farm like 
I did an insane amount of farming, guys. It... <laughs> it was not healthy. Uh, th that's all I can say. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, it's pretty much done now. <clears throat> Still have a million gold. Getting a million more uh, whenever the... Uh, uh, on the next month, on the first. When the jade shop reset. Yeah, like you see the bus has the buff and then Sarta is just gonna take it off in a second. This ability, like if you don't have enough health, it can be brutal, like... Uh, especially when when the boss builds up... Uh, builds up uh, builds up his attack and you don't have a Sarta to... Uh, like, you need Sarta on your, in your group. If you have Sarta in... Uh, if someone else in the party has Sarta, it only will remove the uh, the the buff on the boss uh, for that person. It will not remove it on in your instance. So that's why everyone needs Sarta. So yeah, I'm using Sarta to tank. I had Renescan before on Sarta. Like Renescan, it if you're manualing, if you're struggling with stats, and you're you you want to do hell, you want to do abyss. Uh, if you want to survive those, uh, those like uh, red meteor, what is going? Okay, you just sync the battle, press the top left button, and it syncs with the server. I need to join these runs faster. But it is much easier than I thought. You can use your water team for the next guild war. The next guild war is light. And uh, <clears throat> we'll deal 100% 100, 100 damage to the light guild war boss. And dark will deal 120%. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, just, you can just focus on your water team. You don't even have to uh, focus on, your, on a dark team. <clears throat> so that's good news. I can build a dark team, but I, I need to get the dark healer to actually make it happen. I, I want the dark healer anyways, because uh, later down the line I'll make a human team and I need the dark healer because beside Petralia, uh, well, Sh Shiro is a, is a human healer, but uh, the dark healer is stronger. But it depends on the encounter, like maybe you, you need to remove a uh, damage... Uh, uh, what's called a damage over time, so Shiro can be used there, and uh, if not, well, you can just use the Dark Healer if you're, if you're going in a, with a human team as, as well. So, from this, this Guild War, we can get another Illusory uh, Nirvana weapon. Uh, it's gonna be the Water one, and this will affect uh, human, human as well, so that's gonna be really, really nice. Big stat increase, super helpful. Like 60% attack and HP is huge. It's huge. And you might have to run a butt, like uh, uh, do uh, gold hammers on on that nonstop. <clears throat> you have to first check the the stats on <clears throat> all five or however many you get. If you do get drops, you can get more. I guess as you can see in hell, you can get these. These are the one I want, the Nirvana Sound, because it affects human when I uh, uh, use the Nirvana Forge to craft the Illusory one. Uh, so yeah. Mm, we have to create soon. Small break maybe. I need to go check this card. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm running the 10,000 gold. Let's see how many I get here. Six. Uh, like, Chloe can definitely have more power. So it is fine, I guess. Six for one expedition. It is six hours as well. Running this for, Shady, uh, for Vala first.
I could be running the uh, I guess I'll just create how's the buff here <coughs> oh uh, yeah the the buff is down that's why we're taking a, a break we're just uh, building this thing but uh, yeah so these can uh, can provide provide me and you with uh, another craft in the Nirvana Forge. Uh, if you if you've got if you did the first Guild War and you've you did the uh, ten rounds in the uh, vault, you should be able to uh, to have enough from the, the from the uh, this place and from the uh, the shop for metals. If you are willing to spend your metals on that. You'll have enough to uh, do two crafts. How much gold you get here? That's nah, nothing. Definitely not what uh, we are looking for out of this place. Oh. Fate spring water. There we go. Da <laughs> double buff for fire. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Cause this you can just wear it on a fire, uh, fire character uh, when uh, you convert it into the illusory. This could be the base. And uh, like I just put it on a fire character, and well, actually it's crit and attack, so it would def like it would be going in a support in most cases. So these stats are not really good. You would need uh, like some some self HP, so and a team buff, but yeah. Let me just go and. Uh, you should probably do the same when you pull these things. Uh, not this purchase time. Easy way to filter and uh, just see the newest stuff. Got this one. Oh, it's not so good. Uh, oh yeah, th there was something I got earlier. It's really strong. Where is it at? Oh my. It's so good. Maybe, maybe it's not that great. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it, it is. It is really strong. HP water character self twenty three percent and team attack five percent. That's super strong. That's super strong, and uh, can show you my team on Hira. Okay, uh, check the skills. You can just pause if I go too quick. So 10, 10, 10, and uh, 0. 10, 10, 1, 10. And I did uh, use a uh, one of these. God's fruit. God's wisdom fruit. For this passive. I mean, it's better to have it than not have it. Sarta did use a God's uh, Wisdom Fruit as well. 1, 10, 10, 10. Uh, for, uh, yeah, I mean, to uh, you go with 1, 10, 9, 10. And then you use a fruit to max this one. And Shiro, 10, 10, 10, 0. Because this is, this is temporary. Same with Hero's passive. That's why it's easy. It's easy. It's an easy choice. So you can pause, these are the stats. This, this thing and this thing, really strong. Uh, these are uh, things... Uh, I mean, I, I needed the, the, the health on Petrolia. <laughs> Not a strong buff, but better than nothing, I guess. Attack 4% for water.
this needs some levels. Another pretty strong one. That one, I, I had it on Petrolia before, but I moved it on Shiro to uh, to get the stat increase because it's 1440 HP and uh, uh, 960 attack. It's for the HP. Shiro has more HP with that thing, so the team is more balanced uh, in terms of survival. But it's so strong. Such a strong costume. And, and this. <clears throat> so yeah. That's it for this one, guys. Uh, 570,000 power with this. 572. I had uh, 585 with Renescan. But <clears throat> in terms of uh, like actual power, with, with, like when you are actually fighting, Petralia buffs the group with, with this skill. So, I mean, uh, power doesn't mean much. It gives you an idea, but yeah, it's not the the true power because power can be easily inflated. Also, if you, if I was running team crit guns, I would have more power, but it do doesn't definitely mean that I, I would be doing uh, more damage. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just because crit uh, team crit guns are overpowered for for power because crit on support, uh, Petrolia yeah, would not do anything. No. Uh, yeah, I wanted to notice uh, to check if the boss. Mm, yeah, I, I'll have to uh, pay attention to it. I'm running the triple star title. Uh, there, the, when the red meteor drops, we get uh, the our team gets a minus crit debuff, and it cannot be dispelled. So I, I need to go and check how much reduction in crit it is. Uh, it's just at the top. Increase attack and HP 25%. Super strong. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now.